Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard about the latest news? Crossings at the U.S. border with Mexico have dropped 50% after Title 42 restrictions ended. But, you know, our good friend Biden has implemented a tougher immigration policy. I mean, come on, Joe, you're supposed to be the nice guy here. But now he's got an immigration policy with that extra spice. <laughs> it's like biting into what you thought was a chocolate chip cookie, only to find a giant jalapeno instead. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes. Our beloved leader Biden says, and I quote, The border situation is much better than you all expected. <laughs> well, maybe. But that's kind of like saying, hey, Moving on to the fun part, now people are stuck on U.S. soil between two 30-foot walls. It's like an obstacle course with Homeland Security as the referee. Ah, <sighs> will they stay or will they go? You'll have to listen to the next episode to find out. Oh, and let's not forget about the one portable toilet for 400 to 800 people. Yikes. I never, ever imagined. I'd say may the odds ever be in your favor about a porta potty. On a lighter note, though, children are smiling through the bollards as kind volunteers hand out prayons and notepads, and one young boy even squeezed a new stuffed animal tightly. You know what that means, right? Now with more teddy bears. At least activists and religious groups have an impromptu service site near the Mexican side of the wall, providing phone charging stations and donations like toilet paper, diapers, and food. It's almost like an odd outdoor block party. And let's not forget about the federal judge in Florida who blocked the Biden policy of speeding up the release of migrants to prevent overcrowding in border patrol facilities. This judge calls the Biden administration's request borderline frivolous. Ouch, Joe. Better put some aloe on that burn. It's been a wild ride on this episode of When the Border Becomes the Punchline, but as always, don't forget that this podcast is brought to you by AI Pictures. Have a great night, everyone.